Hey guys, I thought I would just give a quick update on our solar thermal collector that we put into our passive solar greenhouse, as well as I've got a really big announcement that I wanna to make today. So before we get into the solar thermal collector, um, we have finally finished writing the book, Building Your Permaculture Property. This has been a project that has been at least three years actively in the making and many more years before that. Because the world is in lockdown right now, we've decided to do a global summit, host a global summit that will be live on April 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And we've asked the most epic and active permaculture practitioners around the world to present on their permaculture property, specifically sharing their case studies, their successes, failures, and insights uh, as they've gone through the permaculture process to create abundance within their life. And so we'll be hosting Jeff Lawton, Starhawk, Jack Spearco, Ben Falk, Richard Perkins, Rosemary Morrow, Morag Gamble, and many more uh, over the course of three days. So April 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And it's gonna be live the entire time and completely free. Now the summit itself is, is co-sponsored by New Society Publishers and they've really pulled out all the stops. And so in between each of the talks, we're going to be giving away a free prize, um, specifically a book that New Society has selected. And so we'll be drawing random names from the list of people that sign up for the summit. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're registered below. In addition to presenting all this great information, we're also throwing a party. And so we've asked Charlie McGee from Formidable Vegetable Sound System to come and play a concert for us. So make sure that you're uh, signed up so you can participate in that. And if you don't know who Charlie is, uh, put his name into YouTube and listen to some of his songs. If you have any questions about the summit, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below and we'll make sure that we get uh, those answers to you. One last thing, uh, one of the reason that you're gonna wanna attend this summit is that we're gonna be opening it up to Q&A. So if you have any questions relating to permaculture or relating to the case studies that we're talking about in these videos with these incredible thought leaders, uh, we're going to be capturing those questions and presenting them to these speakers as well. So I hope to see you guys there. Now, in the meantime, we've been working on our passive solar greenhouse. And so I'm standing in front of our solar thermal collector right here. And so this is the north wall of our passive solar greenhouse. And basically, um, this is a, a perforated black low rib metal with perforations in the wall. And when the sun uh, hits it right now, there's snow on the glazing right now, this heats up. Um, this warms right up. And you'll notice that up here, we've got ductwork um, and we've basically cut holes into the sheet metal all the way along that will pick up the hot air as the wall generates it. So that air gets sucked out of the thermal system, the solar wall, down this ductwork and through this variable speed fan. And then it goes through the ground into the network of pipes that we designed and it heats the soil up. And this soil gets heated up um, and has about a one season kind of lag. So everything that we do in the summertime is gonna benefit in the fall. Everything we do in the fall is gonna benefit the winter. Um, our models show that we should be able to keep this greenhouse above zero till about January 15th, which is quite a feat given that we live in such a cold climate. So when we did the modeling, we tested a whole bunch of different hypotheses and we're actually in the process of writing a white paper on this, which we're going to present to the world once it's done. Uh, but we tested things like what would happen if we doubled, tripled, and quadrupled the airflow through the system? What happened if we added additional pipes into the network down below? What would happen if we changed the orientation so that the, the distribution pipes went this way versus this way? So north-south versus east-west. Um, what would happen if we added a solar thermal collector to the actual system itself to preheat the air in addition to the ambient air inside of the greenhouse? And all of these questions started to triangulate on some um, basic design principles. And so we found that orienting the pipes east and west uh, was better than north and south. Um, we found that the solar thermal collector made a really big difference in terms of the amount of energy stored within the ground. I have some ideas on how I think I can improve this even further, um, which we'll be experimenting with. But one of them is basically putting an additional layer of glazing on top of this collector to uh, reduce the convective losses that are going to occur in the greenhouse. So as air moves past the collector, it might actually pull heat back into the space versus um, pulling it down the actual collector itself. We'll see how that works and we'll run that experiment um, probably in a year from now and see if we can get any kind of improvement. 
All of these experiments that we did in our thermodynamic model um, is how we've come to the design that we have today. And to my knowledge, this is the first uh, thermodynamic model that I've seen um, that actually shows the performance of these systems. Uh, and so I'm really excited now. We're almost ready to start growing. We've just got a little bit of work left to do on the venting system, um, which I'll be giving an update on soon. Um, it, a little sneak peek there. It's super epic. I've got an incredible new system for venting air. I absolutely, I know it probably sounds weird, like how can you get so excited about venting, but honestly the venting in greenhouses has bothered me for so long. Um, it's kind of clunky, not very elegant, and so I think I finally found a solution that uh, is gonna kind of solve all those problems, keep us well ventilated, and, and generally make the growing space even better. So stay tuned for that. Um, but basically, after all of this modeling, we've come to this system, and now the rubber hits the road, and so we're gonna sensor everything and start collecting empirical data so that we can feed that information back into the model. Now, another really cool thing that's going on kind of simultaneously is Vaden Somers at Hull Services, amazing guy. Uh, if you haven't met him or gone to see his, his greenhouse, I highly recommend it. Um, actually has done all this stuff and he censored his greenhouse and he's produced a bunch of the data. And so we're actually in the process of uh, untangling that data right now and seeing how close his system um, uh, compares um, basically in real life versus a digital model. And so we're gonna feed that information and our learnings from that model back into our white paper, which again, we'll be releasing here soon. So stay tuned for that. When this fires up, uh, we'll be uh, putting a video out and showing you guys. And just another thing to keep in mind, we have been uh, capturing all of the uh, progress on this project from start to finish, and we've built an incredible case study, um, step one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera. And that will be going into our passive solar greenhouse case study package, which is on our website at vergepermaculture.ca. So if you're interested in seeing this process from start to finish, stay tuned to the YouTube channel. When that case study package is released, we'll let you know. And um, if you have any questions rela relating to passive solar greenhouses or the summit that I just mentioned, make sure you put your comments down below. Check for a link uh, to register for the summit. It's completely free. We will be selling our books and they will be available about two to three weeks earlier than anywhere else on the planet. So if you're interested in getting a book, um, you'll want to be signed up as well because you'll get information on how to get access to that. Okay guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon.